Hi right, everyone, National Weather Service here, Alex Tardy. I uh, wanted to give you an update uh, and a expectation for the next round of rain and Santa Ana winds. This is updated Thursday, November 16th. Let's take a look at how much rain fell across the area. On the right hand side is the actual rainfall. Uh, on the left hand side was the prediction right before. So rainfall actual along the coast was a large variation from under a quarter of an inch in downtown San Diego, even with thunderstorms, to over an inch in northern San Diego County, like Carlsbad, up towards Temecula. Uh, so take a look at your location to see how much your area received. And then you can compare it to the forecast on the left hand side. Uh, pretty close, except for maybe the forecast uh, didn't have a significant enough range in the amounts, but uh, hard to argue, uh, not a good forecast. The total lightning, uh, it was significant. So we had lightning across the entire area, concentrated along the Mexico border because that's where the main atmospheric river was. But different bands of lightning, one of them produced some damaging winds near Alpine and Ramona during the late morning hours. And then there was another band that moved into Long Beach and Huntington Beach, one across San Clemente and then raced across the Inland Empire into the Mojave Desert. And then there was another one uh, that went across uh, Carlsbad area with that really heavy rain that they saw in that area. So uh, the brown orange are the cloud to ground. So those are the strikes that actually hit the ground on this map. And then the in cloud detections are the purple. The summary that we're looking at here, more rain is expected Friday into Saturday. It looks like most of it Friday night and Saturday morning. The rain will be showery, so it'll be scattered, um, not as widespread. There's still an isolated threat for thunderstorms. It's a slow moving storm that's been sitting out in the Pacific that's moving in Friday night and Saturday. The weather pattern abruptly changes to Santa Ana winds on Monday. So we're dry Sunday, we're dry Monday, Tuesday, but the big change is Monday, the winds start picking up offshore flow. This could be locally strong, certainly moderate level Santa Ana wind with rapid temperature warming Monday to Tuesday. So uh, before the Santa Ana winds, most places will see another quarter inch of rain uh, with up to uh, three quarters of an inch of rain uh, in, in wetter areas. Looks like northern areas will have the best chance for those wetter, uh, larger amounts. This is the big picture across California. For the next storm coming in, uh, you can see generally between San Diego and LA, quarter to half inch. Uh, but you can see because of the storm track going to the north, the central southern coast of California doing better, uh, especially just north of LA. This is a zoomed up version of it, uh, a little bit more detail. You can see uh, locally around an inch in the San Bernardino Mountains and foothills. But for the most part, uh, areas are expected in the quarter to just under a half inch of rainfall with less amounts in the deserts, uh, but some of it does spill over in showery form. The big warm up that looks like it's going to be Monday and Tuesday. I'm showing you Tuesday here. Uh, we can see temperatures rebound uh, even in the mountains. They start to warm up, but you get uh, especially that Santa Ana effect with the warmest temperatures around 80, low 80s on the coast. These are the wind speeds estimated. Don't focus on the values, but focus on the wind corridors. So offshore wind making it to the coast in Orange County, uh, the Cajon Pass area. Uh, this event looks a little bit better than past events for San Diego County. So you have a larger area of uh, frequent wind gusts over 40 miles per hour in the yellow shaded with even some of that wind offshore coming from the east making it um, near the coast uh, for example Miramar, Escondido and maybe even into San Diego when it's at its peak uh, uh, Tuesday morning. What's the weather pattern driving all this? This slow stubborn closed low system that has a lot of energy with it but it's been just spinning offshore. It drove that atmospheric river up on Wednesday now the energy is coming around the back side of it and it's going to kick it off to the east. And then um, by Friday, it'll be pressing on the central coast, you know, Monterey, Santa Barbara, and just inching into LA County as well by late Friday. 
Now by Friday night and Saturday morning, it'll be over us and just to our east on Saturday. Um, that means the main passage will be Friday night and early Saturday. Uh, and then the weather pattern becomes um, onshore flow uh, from the northwest. Uh, so some of those showers may linger uh, into Saturday afternoon. Now, by the time we get into Monday, a big change, the weather pattern uh, becomes really warm, a big dome of hot air in the atmosphere builds up ahead of another storm in the Gulf of Alaska, uh, taking a similar path, right? Uh, coming from Alaska, slowly diving across the Pacific. That might be a playmaker uh, towards the end of the month. Now, um, with the colder air coming over the top of that big dome of hot air, surface high pressure sets up over Utah and that develops our moderate to locally strong offshore Santa Ana wind uh, on Monday into Tuesday. So high to low pressure. Okay, what about uh, Thanksgiving day and weekend? Looks like we're gonna be dry and mild. Uh, the next storm system by Thanksgiving day does go by, but it looks like it's gonna go by to the east uh, over the Great Basin. So that puts us on the drier uh, side for sure. Now the outlook for the rest of the month, lots of uncertainty. The very end of November, early December, there are some indications of wetter than normal, but at the same time, there's indications of being drier. Uh, and a lot of that storm energy just going over NorCal, Northern California and the Pacific Northwest. So check back in for early December after Thanksgiving weather. Now for next month, there's also a lot of uncertainty where we're seeing some indications of a wet December, uh, but even a few indications of dry. So a lot of uncertainty going into December. Now for the monthly outlook, the general consensus is December, January is going to be wet and not just wet, but above average in California. And of course, the southeast part of the US and Florida. Uh, these average predictions that are together here um, play a role in the latest forecast that was just updated today. Here's that latest forecast. It's now expanded the winter or December through February outlook two instead of being white equal chances to be above average for really all of california so this is a new update uh, if you're following the older updates uh they it was showing a more focused area in central northern california now it's a little more broader brush and a lot closer to what i showed you before so still milder for much of the northwest but it now has a little more confidence there's a lot of confidence in the Southeast United States, as you can see in the dark green of having a wet winter where wet conditions have already started there as well. You can check out the latest uh, alerts and monitor the weather like temperature, wind and rain at the link shown here. Thanks everyone for joining. Have a great holiday weekend.